sorry about that. I got disconnected. Um, okay, so we were talking about tests and quizzes. So, tests and quizzes, uh, tests and qu quizzes are given at least weekly. Generally, for every chapter, I have at least one quiz and uh, at least a chapter test, sometimes two quizzes. If a student, I, I really, we really at, at Milliken do not do test corrections and we, um, actually, test retakes. Instead, we have a system where students take the quizzes and we give them about two weeks to really show mastery. So we put all the information from the quizzes on the chapter test and if they get a higher grade in the test than they had on the quiz, the quiz can be dropped. We can drop one quiz or we can drop two, two quizzes. What this allows is for your child to have a period of time to make mistakes, experience failure, and figure out how to, how to fix these mistakes and succeed. Um, I'm a big believer in the students learning how to learn from their mistakes. And this gives them a time period where they can do that. I found in the past when I have students do retakes, they let it go on and on forever and by the time they finally take the, they retake it, they forget the material. So this really works and it keeps students on um, task to get the material learned within that time frame. Um, the grading policy. Oh, if your name is not written on the test or your period, we will deduct a point. Um, all work has to be shown in order to receive credit. And uh, if you miss a quiz or a test, makeup time is Monday or Wednesday after school, whatever comes first. All right, our grading scale is 90 to 100. It's just the traditional grading scale. Homework um, counts for only 10%, so it rises. You keep it. It can increase your your grade by. It can increase your grade by 1% or drop it 1%. Um, but it really is there to show you if your child is doing the work, asking questions, and kind of engaging in the material that they'll be tested on. Um, I will be posting the grades online on Schoology. Um, about another thing about tests. If students are caught cheating on a test, the student will be given a zero. And they will not be able to make that up. So please um, make sure there is some academic integrity so that they don't get a zero. It's really hard to recover from a zero. Um, generally speaking, I will make a video. I post videos. I don't truly flip, if you know what that means, um, because we are a public school and all kids don't have access to computers. But I do um, record the class, especially on a difficult day. And I do record the class so that um, if a student's out, they can get, they can have access to what we did in class. Um, you can find the YouTube site right here. Just search out Michelle Yamasaki or My Mama Saki. That's my, M-Y-M-A-M-A-S-A-K-I. On YouTube, that's also my email, mymamasaki at gmail.com. And I, every year I kind of make a different folder. I've done algebra videos. That's pretty much for the entire green book. A lot of the big ideas is in this folder. And if I didn't make a video for the day, if you send me an email, I can generally find you a video that will cover the material that we went over. You can also use Khan Academy or Virtual Nerd. I'm a big fan of Virtual Nerd. Um, let's see. So I think that's about it. Um, I want to thank you guys so much. I really feel like this is a three-way relationship. I can't do this without you. Um, and my goal is to make your child a self-sufficient, successful um, adult learner that is ready for high school.
Thank you. If you have any further questions, feel free to email me at mymamasaki at gmail.com, M-Y-M-A-M-A-S-A-K-I at gmail.com. Here it is. And have a great day. And again, I'm so sorry I couldn't be here.